we're back on the roof and it's cold and windy so we got no heat call this is a brand new install um, and it's not heating downstairs it's the thermostat is calling for heat but it's blowing 62 degree air uh, the inducer is running but it's totally not cold or it's not warm so we got to see what's going on with this thing uh, so obviously first things first gas is on okay cool so let's open this up and see what's going on so here we go Okay, so we got her open. It looks like we got a fault code. I don't know if you can see it. Alright, yep. Let's see. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright, so we got four fast flashes. Uh, four limit switch. Okay, so it says that the limit has been tripped. Uh, so we just need to find the limit switch. So that should be fun. Okay, so I'm trying to find the limit switch. Uh, I think those orange wires back there are it. So I'm, I, you're gonna know before I do, but I'm gonna stick my phone in here. Let's see if it's in there somewhere. I see something, but I can't tell what that is, but I think that might be the limit switch. So we need to get in there. So it looks like I have to pull the stupid blower. Okay, so I got the blower motor out of the way. There's the limit switch back there. Come on, focus. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, check continuity on it. Alright, so here we go. Try to do this one handed. And this one handed is a skill that I've learned. I'm trying to hold the camera. And I'm not getting a tone, so it looks like it is tripped. Alright, so I'm gonna pull the wires off and double check it. We might have a faulty uh faulty limit switch. All right, so there's our bad boy, and still no continuity. Uh, yeah, maybe if I, uh, oh, there we go. So yeah, so now we got continuity. So we're gonna replace this thing because it's under warranty. So I'm gonna pop this thing in there and see if it if it works, and then uh, I'll have to come back. All right, so we got it all put back together. Of course, they don't have the thing in stock, so I popped it back in there. Hopefully, it'll work until I can get the new one. I'm going to change it out, whether it works or not, just because it's under warranty. And, uh, yeah, so um, I just plugged in the power, so I'm waiting on the uh, thermostat because it's probably got a delay on it, and then uh, we'll see if it fires up. So we'll be back when that happens. Yeah, before you tell me, check the filter. I already did, but I'm just showing you guys that I did. It's brand spanking new. Uh, economizer is closed and return is fully open. Alright, so the inducer kicked on. Let's see if this thing fires up. And I don't have any error codes. Yep, you got a stand, you got a regular status code, so so far so good. And we got ignition. Alright, sweet. So we're gonna let it run for a while, see if it stays on. Uh, just to make sure it's not tripping the high limit. There's a possibility that that limit might have been stuck closed uh, on install and maybe the installer didn't start it up. I don't know. Um, we didn't install this thing because we don't do train, but, but yeah, so we'll see if it stays late. I'm going to put the cover on before this wind blows it out, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right, so we got her all back together. She's been running now for uh, a good like 15 minutes, so I'm still going to come back and change that uh, limit switch uh, just to be safe. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll continue this, uh, see if it actually kept running or if it tripped again. So yeah, we're going to keep that as part of this video. So we'll be back once uh, we change out that limit switch. I'm back on this one. I got my, uh, got my high limit. I'm kind of curious to see if it still continued to work. So I'm going to jump it out before I change it out and just see if it's, you know, still, if it's still heating all this time. So let's do that. So I'm jumping in between R and W and it looks like it's still working. So uh, I guess I, it was just stuck closed or stuck open for some reason out of the factory. So I'm going to go ahead and swap it out anyway though because it's brand new, it's under warranty and we probably should just in case. So we're going to go ahead and get that thing changed out. So here's our new one. Uh, I'm just going to open it out and make sure it works. Because uh, yeah, we just want to be sure. I don't want to swap it out and not work. So. Okay, so it is closed. Cool. We got the new one in there, and uh, we're calling for heat just to make sure. But, uh, this is the old one. So we'll go ahead and turn that in for warranty, but we're just gonna make sure that this thing lights up. She's been running for about 15 minutes. Everything seems to be fine, so we're gonna call it. 
Uh, but yeah, so even a brand new system can have defective parts, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, just because it's brand new doesn't mean that uh, you might not have a failed part. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.